हेलो एवरीवन द टुडे टॉपिक इज अबाउट सिंगल एक्शन कंट्रोलर और इनवोकेबल कंट्रोलर व्हाट इज द सिंगल एक्शन कंट्रोलर व्हाई वी नीड्स देम एंड व्हाट इज द एडवांटेज ऑफ यूजिंग सिंगल एक्शन कंट्रोलर सो डॉक्यूमेंटेशन सेज दैट हाउ यू कैन क्रिएट एंड इंप्लीमेंट दिस कंट्रोलर बट इट डज नॉट टेल अस दैट व्हाई वी नीड दिस invocable controller so there is a blog i'm following it's a uh, by code chief and uh, uh, yes so you need to follow we need to follow this full blog right and uh, first let me tell you that why it's uh, why we need this invocable controller so if you uh, have these uh, three routes and you are opening three different web pages about contact and terms so you need three different routes like we have so you can do this with a single route using invocable controller so let's take a look at how we can do this so let's start it the first step is you need to put this in your route.web file so let me go to the route.web file and we need to make this controller right so let's go here and uh, the command is php artisan make make controller and here is the name of the controller this one is test controller so i'm this test controller and here you need to uh, put a flag and uh, define which type of controller you want to make you want to make a resource controller or invocable controller so i want to make invocable controllers you can also uh, view this command from the documentation so let me go to the command and uh, yes this is a command so you need to put a flag and put this invocable so let's hit enter and it says invocable option does not exist because i misspell it so we need to invoke remove this l and yes it says controller created successfully so let's go to the controller directory and we have this test controller it's by default having this invoke method right so in this invoke method what we want to do so let's go to let me close this terminal and uh, go to the blog we need to follow this blog so there is invoke method we have this we created this controller and the next is for example we have three page so how we can run this through only one route so it says that you need to define route like this so let me go to the web dot file and uh, replace it with this one right and let me put this here and it's a test controller so we are in the uh, version laravel 8 so that's why i need to define this controller like this and class is this our route is uh, our uh, route is dynamic so let's go to the invoke and oh, move down 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 and yes here is the step you need to now you can extend it with more it has more issues like if you visit unknown url it will throw like view x not found but if you solve this issue then you need to add some bit more code so you need to put this after this naming uh, like this so i need to put a sign here where about page and terms Need to remove one semicolon, right? And uh, let's go to the again, and uh, we need to put this in our invoke method. Okay, let's go to the invoke method and put this here, right? And we need to go to the resources and create our directory here. So inside the resources, we have views, and inside the views, we need to create a page directory. page and inside the page i need to create these three ones so the name is or let me go there and yes it's a contact so let me build this 
contact contact dot blade dot php and the other one is about about dot blade dot php let me copy this uh, or okay and the third one is the terms okay and uh, oops term okay not terms i think it's singular oh it's plural so let me make this plural again so it's terms great uh, it's me about about page contact page so this one and this one is a uh, terms page right let's go to the this one and uh, yes we define the page and uh, now we need to go to the web browser and type uh, about and it says undefined variable page so let me go there and uh, define this variable uh, because we are not accepting any uh, variable from there so that's why it's throwing this error let me pass this a uh, page variable which we are getting from this route and yes it's now executing the about let me put the contact here right and yes it's now executing this contact and the third one is terms and yes it's executing the term if i put this uh, something which is uh, not registered it will throw 404 not found that's great we implemented our yes it's working fine we implemented our invocable controller which is uh, also called a single controller so let me little uh, recap so in the first uh, i created a controller by entering this command uh, it's a command is php addition make controller and then controller name and we need to add a flag there and then uh, our controller is uh, created inside uh, this directory and then we need to add a route here the route is a dynamic variable so this variable is uh, we are getting this variable from there and uh, accepting it in the invoke parameter and uh, uh, passing this to um, dynamic view right and uh, yes and we pass the second argument in the controller and then if you are in the laravel 7 you can put this like uh, this and you don't need this class so i am in the laravel 8 which is the latest version that's why i put this uh, like this convention and then page i name this route and then page about we define these pages because if there is any other page it will not uh, it will open uh, it will throw the error 404 so that is the reason why we add these ones right and uh, yes that's it for this video and uh, if you are interested to um, search more about the laravel i am adding new features of laravel in my playlist um, and i am also uh, creating a full series uh, beginners to advanced uh, laravel step by step guide and you can also follow this series thank you so much for watching this video bye, -bye.